everybody knows a parent is different towards each child. Now, if you a parent and you think you the same with every child, stop, 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 just stop. Don't lie to yourself like that. Because every parent is different towards each child because they have to conform to that child's character and personality. So therefore you would treat them as such. Why, why, why not? Why, why, why not? Kick. Hey. Why, why, why not? Like this video, subscribe to my channel and my daughter's channel, Tyra's Big World of Flavor. Um, share this video with others and um, hit that bell so you can have notifications of when I post. Hey. Yep, skip it. So today I'm on my way taking Tyra to school and we stopped to get a little breakfast. A breakfast. What is that? Uh -huh. Tuesday? No, because the one I'm doing tonight I'm posting for Tuesday. So we have our breakfast and we're gonna do thumbnails right quick. All right, we have the stop sign. Ready? Okay, I have a sausage McGriddle. Tyra has a burrito, breakfast burrito. And I'm gonna say my grace. Lord, I, wanna I think she already said hers because we're almost at school. Lord, I wanna thank you for the food that we're about to receive, helping to nourish our bodies. And these words we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How y'all doing this morning? This morning, Tink. How is y'all doing? Um, I don't think they heard you have food in your mouth. I'm on the way to school right now. Mm. There's nothing special about it. I'm just going to school. Get my education. It's special within itself. What y'all think? How y'all like my no talking video on yesterday? Tell me what y'all think. I had talked to my other ASMR. Do not talk that much. Well, I did. I did. I did talk a good bit. Oh, uh, that's the parking lot, y'all, where the students park. That's what she's saying. That's what she don't think. School doesn't start till 8.20. Oh, she drove? I guess she said she drive with her right foot. Well, I have student cars. My, my straw in there, please. My school as well. Carpool. With each other. Because everybody don't have a license and everybody don't have a car. And they probably take turns. Saving on gas, too. I don't I don't like the responsibility, me personally. And a lot of them have, like, siblings. They, like, drive their siblings to school. I don't understand how some kids... They had their parents drop off their siblings and they drive to school. Well, I didn't have to drive to school. Why? Because my mama worked there. Where you going? I bet that's something in his car. How's y'all weather? Look at my math class. I mean, that's me so right. There's only two freshmen in my, my class, including me. Well, he'll have to be soon with that boy. 
He's dry. Don't, don't go He's an ROTC. The guy who drives. A little teeny black guy with glasses. This is why I can't find people. Like that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget get your napkins wrapped around it. Don't be careful. You can get no napkin? You can pull up some more. Yeah, I can. Look at my radio. Can y'all hear the radio? Sorry! We gotta go to the fridge. Yeah. It's a glass right now. Yeah. Mm. Now we're going to get out because these people ain't moving. They're waiting to turn. Mm. Get the trash with you. Mm -hmm. And I'll text you to let, um, find out. I'll probably pick you up right there. I'll, I'll pick you up. I'll call you. Mm. See where I need to pick you up from. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. All right. And be careful. That thing kind of make sure you don't throw it down and break your phone. <laughs> All right, y'all. Done dropped the youngin off to school. On my way to work. Oh, this Coke is delicious. Mm. That is delicious. Want to get out? Where your coat at? I tell you. So, what are y'all plans for this week? It's already hump day. The remainder of the week. What y'all got planned for the weekend? My niece's homecoming is this weekend, so we're going to be traveling to her homecoming. She's a cheerleader. So we're going to support her this Saturday. That's our plan. Other than that, nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. It's so sad. What happened with the helicopter? I feel like something in my teeth. Excuse me. Um, and you know, it's just life is so short. You never know what the day holds. You never know what the day holds. And you know, me and Tyra actually we were bickering um, that same day, literally not talking not talking at all. That's where I go. I just go to not talking. Just to calm myself down, to make sure I don't say anything I don't need to say or handle her aggressively, extreme aggressively. So I just won't say nothing. Nothing at all. And then y'all, that's when she'll just be asking me a million simple questions that she could know the answer to. Like, where are the trash bags? Do we have trash bags? Now, why are you asking me that when you just go look where the trash bags are supposed to be? Huh? So why are you asking me that? But, but that's what that's what we were going through, and and I told her I said, you know, life's too short. I said, God forbid something happens, and me with to me, God forbid, or her, God forbid, and one of us are left here without the other one. That's gonna be pretty tragic on how we move on with our life, especially if we had issues 
that were not resolved before either one of us, God forbid, left this earth. And I gave her the example. I said, because me and my mom, and I think it's something when people know that they're sick, like my mom, she knew she was sick, but she didn't tell us how sick she was. But she got like super mean. She's like really, really mean, really, really mean. But I looked at it as her being scared or her not wanting, you know, us to, you know, probably like pushing us away kind of because she didn't want us to hurt or feel bad. But I took it all. I took it all. And I did what I was supposed to do even before that. Um, because at the beginning, me and my mom didn't have the best of relationships. Um, I, I just felt like I was just excluded from her a lot. Me personally, I felt I was. Uh, and I have fend for myself a lot. Even though it was three of us at the time. But that's just my take on it. You know, that's how, you know, everybody knows a parent is different towards each child. Now, if you're a parent and you think you're the same with every child, stop, stop, stop. Just stop. Don't lie to yourself like that. Because every parent is different towards each child because they have to conform to that child's character and personality. So, therefore, you will treat them as such. Okay? But, and, you know, when I told y'all about college, that's why I went to college. I didn't want to go to college, but me and my mom, you know, we bonded over bingo. That's what we bonded. That's what we had in college. Um, and we would go to bingo, but other than that, we really didn't have too much conversation. Went to college. It wasn't, no, wasn't much better. After college, that's when our relationship started to grow and we talked more three to four times a day and you know we got real close then and she was still how she was and I think it was mainly because as a child she had to raise her siblings she was the second oldest of ten and her mom um I don't know but she pretty much raised her siblings so she had walls up I mean big walls up to where she didn't trust a lot of people and it was hard for her to accept someone's genuality is that a word okay y'all know what I'm trying to say but um so that's that was her and I mean it's not excusable but that is her when you know someone you know what you're working with and that's how she was and before my mom passed uh, when she was going through what she was going through I was selfish to the point that I didn't want my mama to leave I did not want my mama to leave because that's my mom and I felt that you know my mom is my mom that's not supposed to happen to I don't know why I thought it wasn't supposed to happen to our family I don't know why but that's what I thought. I just knew she would be there forever. I just, that's what I thought. You know? Literally, I, I, y'all, I'm not Josh. And that's what I thought. And then you just had that feeling like, what? What? No. Uh -uh, not me. I mean, you've seen it happen to other people and you mourn for other people, but you just don't see it happening to you. And when it happened to you, it's just like unbelievable. Like, why? Well, what? No. This wasn't supposed to happen. You know? But thank God that our relationship grew. And even, even when she made me cry, and y'all, it was constant. I was at, I could be at work just crying. And, you know, I knew she knew we loved her, but she would say we didn't. And, you know, but it's, it was to me, and y'all know how I am. I'm the type of person I try, I'm hurting, but I'm still trying to understand and look at where you're coming from and trying to, un and in my mind, analyzing the situation and coming to some type of resolution so I can still communicate and work with you because I'm trying to make sure, you know, or figure out what you're going through. So there's no need for me, you know, being like you if you're going through things. I'm just going to try and help you through what you're going through. 
and I would cry and, and just hurt and then call my sisters and my brother and tell me, let me tell y'all what your mama did. You know, you know, that's what we do. That's what we do as kids. Let me tell y'all about y'all daddy. Let me tell you about y'all mama. You know, that's what we do. You know, so I would call and I'd be crying and they know I'm the one that just take a lot to heart. I really do. I mean, I take so much to heart and get sick from it blood pressure go up head start hurting so they just don't like for me to stress at all that's why i just try and stay in the middle and figure stuff out and stay neutral so i won't get elevated so um really calm so um you know when she passed before she passed or when i say i was selfish i was selfish to the point where i don't want my mama to leave i don't want my mama to leave i don't want my mama to leave. I but what was best for her? What would she want out of that situation? I mean, of course she probably more than likely want to stay here, but did she want to be in pain? Did she want to, you know, my mom was very vain. She took pride in what she looked like, what she wore, her hair was always done, her face was always done, always, always. So if she, and she took care of herself, when she was in dialysis, she drove herself to dialysis. She, she drove herself to the doctor. She drove herself to rehab. She didn't want nobody doing nothing for her. She wanted to do for herself. So if she wasn't able to do for herself, she wouldn't have wanted to be here. So then I had to let it go. And once I let it go and started accepting it, it's not about me. I know what we've been through. I know what we've come through. And I know that I did as a child what I was supposed to do as a child to my parent. Wasn't disrespectful, um, help them when I needed to help them. They didn't have to ask for help, just voluntarily help. I visited them. I visit them um, often. I talk with them often, call me. I always answer, and I, oh, and I, I might not answer right then, I call right back, and then I get fussed at. I could have been dying or something, that's what she would say. I'm like, Mom, but I was at work in a meeting. I couldn't answer right then, you know, something like that. But I would answer and, you know, talk and take take what she say and just ask if to, to respond back, I would have to put it in the form of a question. I couldn't make a statement to her because that would be disrespectful in her eye because she was super old school. She was super old school. What she say, that's just how it's supposed to be. I don't care if you was 60 years old and you was her child. What she say, that was how it's supposed to be. So, you know... I was telling Tyra, you know, we got to be mindful. You never know when it's your time. You never know. So that's why I try and be as nice to everyone that I can be nice with. I try not to be, um, you know, rude or mean towards anybody because all of that comes back on you. I mean, people can do you dirty. People can do you wrong. But you have to be the bigger person. And I know it's hard sometimes, but you truly have to be the bigger person. You have to turn the other cheek. Because if not, you're putting yourself in the same predicament as per that person. And when you come to the gate, when it's time for you to get to that gate, you're going to have a lot of things to answer for. Whether it's small, whether you feel it's small or big. So, me and Tyre, we came to our, our, our resolve. And I told her, I said, I want you to get as much as possible. I want you to have as much as possible. I, and I said, then me, I be the dumb, the dumb A. And I said it. I ain't saying it on here. But I said, I be the dumb A because I give in every time as the parent. And try and figure out uh, a compromise for your bad behavior. And what I mean by bad behavior, disrespect. To me, that's bad behavior. Disrespect to any adult. And y'all, I know y'all getting tired of me saying old school, but that's just, that's just fact. That can be proven. That you are not supposed to be disrespectful to an adult. And I know they said, of course, they say now you got to give respect to earn respect. Hey, sometimes somebody ain't got to give it to you. You still supposed to do as you would want someone to do to you. That That's my motto. So just because somebody coming at you wrong or left, that don't mean you come back at them. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. How you want to be treated, that's how you should treat someone, regardless of how they are treating you. So I try my best to live by that motto. And I give in. Yes, I do. And I said, that's why I'm digging a deeper hole for myself. And I said, but I'm your protector. 
I'm the person that I want you to look up to. I w I'm the person I want you to come to. So I want to be fair. However, I'm not going to give you everything. No come out my mouth a whole bunch. No. Because what? I don't have it. I'm not, I'm not going broke. I'm not going homeless because you want something. No. I'm not going to scrape and borrow from what they said, Peter Paul. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. It's a no. Now, would I sacrifice sometime? Yes, I will. But if it's not necessity, no. So prayers to those families that have lost their loved ones in the tragedy this weekend. And, you know, not just that family. Prayers to those families that are going through anything and are still coping with things that they've gone through. And like I said, I haven't mourned, but I think I have mourned. It's just that I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a, a reason because I did what I was supposed to do. I was here while she lived her life. We had our ups and downs and we got over it. And the memories come, the thoughts come, and I cry. But actually, I figured out I didn't need to grieve because we did what we needed to do as mother-daughter. And our love shows through all of that. And y'all, I'm about to tear up now, so I'm going to get off of him. But y'all, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel and my daughter's channel, Tyra's Big World of Flavor. Um, share this video with others. And um, hit that bell so you can have notifications of when I post. And please, y'all, love each other. Go make amends to those that have wronged you. Yeah, you make amends. Because when they wronged you, you felt some type of way. So you got to forgive them so you can move on. And y'all just pray daily. Pray daily. Be as nice as you can to everyone. And why, why, why not? Love while you're here. Because love y'all.